Good day friends, it is me HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another super fast Tinkercad tutorial, so let's get cracking. Friends, if you've never used Tinkercad before, I always use Sign In with Google. Once you're in, we're going to go to 3D Designs. I'm going to make a brand new 3D design. And today I've got a feature that's pretty awesome that you may not notice. Now I saw somebody post in a comment somewhere that it's dumb that Tinkercad doesn't have a raise. Friends, what's even more silly is that Tinkercad does have a raise and the user didn't know it. Let me show you how you can track this down if you click search and you type array, bingo, it gives you the array. I'm going to back that up because there were two for a minute. Oh, the second one is an arch. So when you click on this array and bring it out, it starts with an object where it's a square. It talks about which way it wants to point. You can change the shape. You can change the copies. You can change the radius. Lots of options. So let's just make a few of these. I'm going to do Control D and let's make the second one a circle. You can see it just takes a moment to render. Let's make another one. I'm going to do Control D with that one and I'll move it over here. Let's test the other shape. We've got a triangle and then we'll do it one last time. Control D and we'll check the custom. Now when you hit custom, I am not exactly sure what's the difference between just changing that, but you can see you can adjust those and make them turn out awesome. I'm going to hold down shift squeeze so that one's a little smaller. I'm going to move it down here below. Let's just check the parameters real quick. If we make it 12, you can see it instantly becomes more of them. We can change the radius. So if you want them closer together, I'm going to type 20 and you'll see that these actually connect. Now I am just playing with numbers. I have not experimented, but oh my gosh, that looks like something you could use for a turbine just because we adjusted these handles. This is kind of cool too. Notice when you make one little tweak, it adjusts them all, which is pretty darn sweet. I'm going to click on these circles and let's make it a lot smaller. I'm going to make it 20 and I'm going to see what happens if I make this 13. Notice friends, when I go past 12, it does not work. So I'm going to go back to 12 and then what I want to do is I want to have these connect. So I'm going to take my radius and I'm going to make it 15. And when this one renders, they will be connected. So look at this. All of a sudden, let's make that a cool pink. I'm going to bring out a half roof. Let's make it yellow and check it out. How cool is that for an almost instant flower? Bingo. So just exploring, you never know what you're going to find. Now let's check this. If we switch it to point outside, I don't see any difference on that one. Point south, I don't see any difference on that. Let me switch that one more time to see. Now those did rotate. So if you point south, then it made them all square. So that is interesting. This one for sure, if we switch to point outside, boom, it'll have that piece pointing outside. Also, you can use these as holes for cutting things out, but I just wanted you to know they are here and you never know what kind of cool things you'll make from them. And of course, the real trick is if you're hunting for a shape, you think something doesn't exist, type in the word up there. Now, friends, I do have one other bonus for you. I am on my website, hlmodtech.com. Don't forget, I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad. And then right here is what I call the Shape Generator Catalog. Friends, when you click this, it opens up what's called the Jamboard. My students and I made this. It has all of the parts and the name so that way you can look up the name that you know you want to search for. Also make sure when you open these you check out the parameters because oh my gosh you can make so many amazing things by just adjusting those numbers. This is kind of fun because there are actually three users in here right now with me. Friends when you open up my design don't forget what you need to do is click make a copy give it a name and then save it to your Google Drive so you'll always have access to the Shape Generator catalog. I'm going to quickly name this Array 
test. So that way, if I'm ever looking back to see what kind of cool things I can make, I've got that. And finally, friends, as I wrap up, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.